Hey guys, this is Veronica from BehindTheCake.com and I'm going to show you how to make this petal ruffle cake. Alright, I already have my cake. It's already frosted. It doesn't have to be completely smooth, but it needs to be covered already. We're going to start piping the little ribbons with the tip 104 from Welton. And the thicker part of the tip is going to go against the cake. That's going to help us uh, for the buttercream to stick to the cake. And the thinner edge of the ribbons are going to be to the front, so we're going to be able to see all the details of these little ribbons. So when I started piping the ribbons, uh, I tried to do it at an angle, but I found out that uh, the thick part of the ribbons are going to show up a lot. So I found that the best way to do it is perpendicular to the cake. That way the thicker part of these little ribbons uh, stick completely to the cake and the ribbons look more defined. We're going to continue piping all around the cake. I recommend doing so in sections so you make sure you cover the whole cake. So at this point my buttercream was a little bit uh, runny and you can see the thick part of the petal was showing a lot. So I just had to refill the piping bag with fresh uh, buttercream and that was fine. To cover the last section of the cake I'm gonna be doing the same. My tip needs to be perpendicular to the cake and I'm gonna start from the top working my way down and then I'm gonna continue from the bottom up just make sure that I cover everything. This is the most difficult part since there's not a lot of space uh, to put my tip perpendicular to the cake. Just try to do your best. Once you're done, turn your cake around and see if there are any spaces that need a little bit more uh, frosting. And with the same piping tip, just fill up those spaces. So now I move on to uh, putting the support system and I'm using wooden dowels and I'm going to measure and cut and place them back. And I'm going to need four of these. Uh, this cake is an 8 inch round cake and it's going to support a 6 inch round cake. So four is enough to support this cake. I'm going to center my top cake. And using a half an inch ribbon, I'm going to cover my board. Since the top tier is already in place, I'm going to pipe the last section of the ribbons. I left this part to the end because I didn't want to mess up the frosting when placing my top tier. So now it's ready. I'm going to start working on the polka dots. I have some yellow fondant. And I'm cutting the circles. I'm going to use uh, these big ones and then little ones. I'm going to place them on the cake carefully all around it. And I'm going to start painting them with some highlighter. Let's don't forget the center dowel. This is going to prevent our cake to move uh, sideways. It's going to keep it in place. And once we're done, we're going to cover the little hole with a little bit of buttercream. We're going to put the topper and the cake is ready. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more tutorials or recipes, please visit my website www.behindthecake.com and also the Facebook group where we share more uh, tips and tricks. You can find all the links in the description box below. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss any videos. Thank you and you all take care. Bye.